Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Nancy? And thank you. Okay, that's good. And you are good. You're fine. <laughs> How is everybody? Hi, hi, hi. Is it raining there? Because it is here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Domingo. Is it raining over there? No? Yes? Maybe? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my daily. It's the first time I see her. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, guys, it's time to start the class. I was just um, checking the. <laughs> I made a mistake with the with the PowerPoint, and I I sent you the wrong the wrong uh, presentation. I'm so sorry for that, but it's in my other computer. <laughs> so, but I I have preferred. I mean, some activities. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're going to do is to take the attendance. So remember that you have to say present or here. Okay. Just give me a moment. Y licenciada Dinora Castillo. Present. Ok, Alfredo Alexander Rodas. Present. Oh, Alfredo, you're here. How are you? Feel better? Mm, mm, no. No? I, am, I have five fever and <coughs> coffee. I'm so sorry for that. Carla Maritza Sanchez? Present. Carlos Walberto Rodrigo Rodriguez? Carlos Walberto is not here? Mm -hmm. No, Cristina Romero. Oh. No, Cristina. Okay, Domingo Alexander. Presente. Fátima del Carmen. No, it's not here yet. Jose Matias Lemus. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Uh, what about Karina Espinosa Ventura? Present. Marco David Velázquez. Present. <laughs> okay. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Mauricio Alexander Mahano. Maidele Yudi. Present. Nancy Lisset. Present. Rocío Martínez. 
Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel. And uh, William Eduardo Perez. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Okay. Very good. So this evening guys, we are going to learn about how to use get and go, okay? To start with the activity, I'm going to show you, oh, well, we have this dynamic. I will, I will share the screen with you. Just let me know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. So we have in the warm up, we have name three. Then activity one means some transportation. Activity two, how to use get and go. Activity three, role play, and finally the wrap up. So let's just start with the warm up. Name three. Okay, can you tell? Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> can you tell me, guys? Oh, Rocio says present. Can you name three means of transportation by land? By land is, uh -huh. can you name, can you tell me three means of transportation by land? Bus, taxi. The bus, very good, bus, what else? Taxi. Bicycle, bicycle, very good. Bicycle, bus, what else? Mm -hmm. Train. Train. Train, yes. That's yeah. right. Okay, train, bus, bicycle. What else? Uh, uh, how with my computer? Car, okay, car. What about motorcycle? Motorcycle, train. Um, bus, truck, also the truck. Good, nice. Okay, now name three means of uh, transportation by by C. <laughs> I mean, by Z or ocean, water. Name three means of transportation by C. Autobus. By sea. By sea. Ah, uh, the ocean. A jet. The Boat. water, okay. Jet. Boat. 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 Oh, my camera. Only that. Only that? Yes. The boat, ship. Canoa, teacher. Okay. Kayak also. Kayak. 
-hmm. Yeah, very good. Can you mention or name three means of transportation yeah, sure. by air? Table, ta table, table of surf, surfing. <laughs> But you cannot transport with that. You just use it to to have fun. I mean, to <laughs> practice the sport. Okay, what well, about my airplane? Airplane. Airplane. Plane. Plane. Plane or airplane. Airplane. Hel airplane. Helicopter. Helicopter. Yes. Lobo. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Now, guys, I would like you to practice. Yesterday, we learned about imperatives. So I have this, um, some exercises for you to practice. For example, imperatives, rem do you remember yesterday we studied that when you give instructions, when you give orders, commands, we use imperatives. Or when you give directions, you use imperatives. In the imperatives, we don't use subject pronouns. We just mention the verb, but we didn't practice with the negative form. In the negative form, we just add don't. For example, don't close your book. Don't touch, don't touch me, okay? Or don't write anything. Mm -hmm. So um, can you, uh, you can participate in this activity to um, complete with the imperative form. Marco said the ferry. Okay, nice. Mm. The ferry, yeah, it's the water or sea transportation. Okay, so for number one, it says, please. What what should what is the, the verb here? Please your books to page 12. All right. Please pass. Keep, keep. Please open. Open your books to page 12, okay? Open. Yeah, what about the number two? The pencil sharpener now? Mm -hmm. Number two. Game. Right. Give me pass. Okay. It could be give me. Give. 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 Give me. My daddy said give. Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ya tiene mi. Yo le quito. Ah, uh -huh, teacher. Yo haría el git. Give me. Give me. Okay. You have to drop. drop. You have to drop. You have to drop pictures of animals. While animals are dangerous, you shouldn't. Ensure it should. Touch. 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 Mm -hmm. Touch. Number five. Pass me the that badge. Pass me that bag. Yes. Number six, don't cry. cry. Don't a people. Don't it's point. Don't, don't shout at people. It's rude. 
Don't point at people. Carlos. Carlos. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so don't point at people. It's rude. Okay, number seven. Right. Why me? Uh-huh. Number seven. Right. Ay, es que no veo, me pero... Right. Right, teacher, right. En el, en el chat, dice yeah, que... no, write me a letter about your family, okay? Creo que tengo que gritarle a la teacher. I'm so sorry. Quickly. Shut the door. Rose. All of five. Quickly. Ah, shut. Yes, shut the door. We close. Uh -huh. The number nine class is over. Can you please close that? Can you shut your books? Close your books. Yes, close your books. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, now let's do the next activity. Yes. Next. Go For go. the next activity, you have to put affirmative into negative and negative into positive or affirmative for example make me a sandwich don't make me a sandwich open the door don't open the don't door open don't look at him look at him so please uh, you can write it in the chat mm -hmm. the different the different uh, um instructions in negative form Uh -huh, number one. Don't, don't make, make a sandwich. Don't make. Don't make me a sandwich. Aha, uh -huh. so we use don't. You don't have to, it's not, not, not make me. No, it's not, don't, don't. Es que algunos dicen, no. No, sit down. No, it's, that is incorrect. You have to use right. the, the auxiliary do in negative. Don't. Don't make me a sandwich. Exactly. Don't open the door. Uh -huh. Don't open the door. Entonces, esta solo sería look at him. Exactly. Don't open the door. Teacher, y en esta que es, es don't sit down. Sit down. Don't, don't sit, down. sit down. Don't look at him. Look at him. Sit down. Don't sit down. The last no is number five. Don't sing. Don't sing. Don't sing. sing. Solo sing. Mm -hmm. Don't go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. Yes, I wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> give him a biscuit. Don't give me. Give him. Uh huh. Dice que es biscuit. Ah, uh, bread, piece of bread. Biscocho. Oh. Draw biscuit. on the board. <laughs> Don't draw on the board. Don't give him pupusas. Don't give him Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Give me cover for. Did you finish? Yes. Everybody ready for next activity? Next go. I will show you the, a picture of a bis biscuit. Biscuit, biscocho. Yeah, it's a piece of bread. I don't know if you can see it. Biscuit. Mm. But they look like cookies. Biscuit. Yeah, they look, like, they look like they look like like cookies. Como un cakeito, verdad? But it's a little bit different. It's more like a cookie or like a mm -hmm. or similar to like a pan francés, but in a round form, round or circular form. Okay, similar to cookies. Okay, guys, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Now, in I don't know if you if you have your, your handbook from Insafor. Because there there is a, um, um, a crossword that I want to show you. Let's see. This one. There are five, ten means of transportation from the box in the word search. Let's see if you can uh, find them. Mm -hmm. Can you find 10 means of transportation in the word search? Helicopter. Helicopter. Motor. Yeah. Motorcycle. Right? Motorcycle. Yes. Helicopter. Okay. Let's see. Motorcycle. I Plane. Taxi. <laughs> Taxi. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Motorcycle. Helicopter. Masks. Where is it? Okay, bus, plane, here, <laughs> plane. What is bus? Taxi, very good, my lady. Yeah. T A X Y taxi. We have here ship. S H I P ship. Mm -hmm. Any other one? Baita or busy. Oh, bus is here. I'm sorry. Busy or bike. Bicycle. 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 Bicycle, yes. Bicycle. Bicycle. Where is it? What is a bicycle? Because we have motorcycle here.
Christina says helicopter. Yes, helicopter is here. Yes. Yes. Eh? My day. Ah, oh, very excellent, Domingo. Bicycle. Okay, let's see the chat. Have a problem with my car. Internet. Car. Okay, what is the car? Sandra says car, but I can see. Ah, it's here. Yes. Car. <laughs> Thank you. Train. Where is train? I don't see it. Oh, yes, it's over Teacher. there. Yes? Teacher. Yeah. Um, buque. Buque. Oh, yes. Buque. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Congratulations, guys. You could find all of them. Excellent. Okay. So now listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice. Uh, but sorry, before that, I have some questions for you. Some questions, okay? Give me your opinions, please. Your opinions are very important for all, all of us. Guys, what means of transportation do you prefer? When you travel, when you go to work, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi, when you travel, Uber, motorcycle, eh, Car, bicycle. Motorcycle. <laughs> Alfredo says, I prefer to drive my car. So try to use that expression. I prefer to, mm -hmm. For, well, in my case, I prefer to, to go by car because it's, it's faster. Give me a reason because it's faster. But sometimes I can't go by car. So I use the public transportation. I use the public transportation. Oh, Matias says I prefer to go by motorcycle, I prefer to ride my motorcycle. Así sería, Matías. I prefer to ride my motorcycle. Okay. So I was telling you, I prefer to go by car because it's faster, but sometimes I can't go by car, so I use the public transportation. I use the public transportation, but it's some, but it is sometimes dangerous. But it is sometimes dangerous. And, and it's slow. Okay. So um, you are going to discuss these in groups, okay? I'm gonna send you into groups and I would like you to talk about the different means of transportation that you prefer. I'm gonna write the questions here on the chat. Do you prefer to drive or to go by... <laughs> Why not, Matias? or here as a class. Do you prefer to drive or to go by car, Uber, taxi? Okay. 
motorcycle, bicycle, yes. or walk. If I can walk, I walk. So give me reasons. Bus. Carlos, Carlos Walberto, how do you go to work? I go, <clears throat> I go on a public transportation. You go by bus. Go. You go by bus. Uh -huh, you, use, yes. you use public transportation. Okay, why, Carlos? Uh, is because because is cheaper cheaper <laughs> yes yeah it's a lot cheaper exactly mm -hmm. to use the public transportation it's a lot cheaper yeah with 25 cents imagine with 25 cents i can go downtown san salvador and i can come back with 25 cents <laughs> Yes, so it's cheaper to travel by bus. But it's more dangerous. And it takes more time. And if it's raining, you get wet. <laughs> Domingo, what means of transportation do you use? Do you prefer to drive, to walk, to take a taxi, to take a, to take a bus? to ask for a ride. I ask for a ride in the mornings. I mean, you... hmm? I am, do you prefer to drive bus? You travel by bus. You drive, uh, uh, I... yes. Okay, Rocio, what about you? Maybe she's not there. Hey, Fatima? Excuse me. Sorry, teacher, what is the question? Do you prefer to drive or to take a bus, to take a taxi, take a, an Uber, walk, use a bicycle, ride a, a bicycle or motorcycle? What do you prefer? I prefer to, to travel by car. Okay, to travel by car. Because I can't drive. Okay. Cristina says, teacher, I prefer to drive a car. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, thank you for your opinions. Now, now, guys, you're going to listen to me reading the conversation. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Aha, uh -huh. by foot, a pie, right? <laughs> so now, guys, you are going to practice the conversation. What is the difference entre get and go? That's what we are going to study today. Mm -hmm. Well, when you ask by direction for directions, you can use get or go. How can I go to the airport or how can I get to the airport? Yeah, it's it's almost the same meaning. You can almost use both. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. 
Ya lo vamos a ver, Matías. Ya, ya casi llegamos ahí. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, so, I would like to take a screenshot of the conversation and you are going to practice with your partner. But instead of the airport, maybe you can use other places. You can say the shopping mall, um, the zoo, el Tunco Beach, La Libertad Port, any other places, okay? And you can um, take as a reference the place you are in this moment. For example, I am here in San Salvador. And if I want to go to El Imposible Forest, how can I get there? <laughs> or how can I get to the airport? Or how can I get to the uh, Hospital El Salvador to get the vaccine? <laughs> or how can I get to Cathedral, the Cathedral in downtown San Salvador? Okay, so you're going to change the place and you can also change the, the means of transportation. You can say, I'm sorry, taxi or Uber or um, you can walk, go by foot, etc. Is it clear, guys? Guys, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you into the breaker rooms and you have to practice with your classmates. Go ahead. Teacher puede habilitar la compartir pantalla. Teacher puede habilitar compartir pantalla. Yes, of course, Matías, in this moment. Para práctica. Ok. Ahí está. Thanks. Letter B, me, you, letter E, A. I'm going to be letter A. You. Okay. 
Okay. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far, far away. Uh, you can buy taxi or you can drive. Thank, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, good job, guys. But also, um, the second time, you can try to uh, change the information and use other means of transportation and other directions or other places to, to get. Instead of the airport, you can say El Tunco Beach, La Costa del Sol Beach, or um, I don't know, the shopping mall, La Gran Vía, Multiplaza, or any other places, okay? That's okay, teacher. I want to try. Yeah, you can do it. That would be me. Hey. Excuse me. How call I? Hey, Hello, Marco. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing the form here? Yeah, I write, write in the chat with Dave because the two are listening. Okay, okay. I only change the, the place and, mm -hmm. and the transportation. Mm -hmm. Good, that's good. All right. Okay, um, if you want. Okay, <laughs> Sandra says I use a taxi. Um, and we can practice the conversation if you want, if you want me to. Uh, maybe send the screenshot to the group because I don't have the... the... Uh, somebody sent it. I think it was Carlos. Carlos sent it. Ah, all right. Uh-huh. Excellent. It was a group. Hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. How are you? Mire, disculpe, ¿verdad que solo tenemos que cambiar lo que son el modo de transporte, los lugares, para yes. ir el complemento va a ser igual, ¿verdad que sí? Yeah. Like, excuse me, how can I get to the cathedral? Well, the cathedral is far away. You can go by bus or you can take a taxi. Thanks. Um, I'm going to take a bus, but I need to know the next or the closest bus stop. Is there a bus stop near here? Sure, it's in front of that store or something like that. <laughs> okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello, guys. Hi. Are you practicing? Hello, guys. Are you practicing? Karina, Mauricio. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karina. How are you? Teacher, una consulta. Este, yes. eh, se va, como no casi no mucho le entendí. Este, es contestar las preguntas o cómo. No, va, va a practicar la conversación y después de practicarla una vez, la siguiente vez le van a cambiar los places, el lugar, los lugares y también la manera en cómo se van. Por ejemplo, excuse me, maybe I can practice with you. Ok, 
Okay. You can be a speaker A. Sea usted la número, the letter A, and I will be B. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Ay, pero es que usted no está en el grupo, ¿verdad? Ahorita me acabo de, de agregar que me, Matías me hizo el favor de, de pasarme el link para ingresar al grupo. Muy bien, excelente. Va, ¿Ya lo tiene entonces? Sí, ahorita voy viendo. Good night, teacher. Hello, Mauricio, how are you? Very well, teacher. That's great. Um, so, Me are you cierre. ready? Are you ready to practice with Karina? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, in el WhatsApp, uh, la conversation. The conversation, yes, it's there. Okay, okay. You change the place and you change the means of transportation, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Carlita. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Could you practice? <laughs> uh, I'm driving. Oh, you're driving. Okay, Walter. Yes. I'm sorry, teacher. No, don't worry. Hello, Walter. <laughs> Maybe he's in the restroom or something because he's, he's not there. <laughs> Okay, so, um, well, when he comes back, maybe you can practice the conversation with him or maybe just listen. Okay, teacher, sorry. Good. I'm gonna send you to, I'm gonna send you William. William okay. Practice with you too. Library. Mm -hmm. You can go there by foot. Hi, guys. So you, I can, I can see you're practicing. Yes, teacher. Uh, we start uh, may a new conversation. Excellent. We change, we change some words, some place. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Going to check another group. Okay. Continue okay. practicing. Ah, uh, see. Okay. Wait. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. He's practicing. Yes, but I am. I am writing in the chat my answer okay. because Domingo need to understand some words that maybe. I... Okay, thank you. Thank you for helping him. Teacher, uh, I have uh, one question. Se fue. I sent sentence uh, the word the cathedral is near here. Ah, teacher, para decir que está cerca de aquí. Near decir, here. Near to here. No, near, oh, near here. here. Just near no, here. Okay, it's near here. Okay. Solo near here. Just okay. Up high study. Near mm -hmm. here. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, okay, Domingo. Aquí está mi, 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 
my answers. So yes, I can, can see the cathedral is near here. You can go by taxi or drive a car. Okay. So the second question. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? How, how is it going? How is your conversation going? Okay, Victor. Yes, <clears throat> Victor. It's okay, Alfred, if you cannot speak too much, I understand. You can write in the chat and practice with Victor on the chat if you feel okay. Yeah, practicamos. Yeah, you already uh, practiced. Lo <clears throat> you, you, you made another conversation. Okay, good, good for you. I think we are, we are about to finish the activity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, are you, are you about to finish? Yes, teacher. That's great. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Tiene apagado su micrófono, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> that happens. But thank yes. you for the reminder. Yes. Oh, it's almost time to take the second attendance. Oh, yes, seven minutes. Yeah, can you imagine time flies? Can you imagine tomorrow is the last video conference? Yes, too old. Only too old. Yes, two more hours and that's it. <laughs> a, a, a ver si está en el otro módulo usted, teacher, o otro teacher, o otro profesor. We don't know. Sí, no se sabe. Yes. Okay, very good. Good guys, you have good ideas and I like that. I would like to listen a couple of students before I take the second attendance. So who would like to try? Who would like to present their conversation in front of the class? Okay, so? Solo practice. I know some of you uh, created other conversations, like you changed the planes, you changed the means of transportation. We just need like... Yeah, 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 yes, teacher, pero como... Eh, yo, la, yo la cambié varias cosas, pero no le pude mandar a Alba. Así que ahí la tengo yo. Ok, who is ready to present? Muy difícil. Nobody? <laughs> I don't believe you because I was checking and you had conversations. For example, Nancy and Carlos. You were a group, right? Or not? Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Do you start? You ready? Okay. Excuse me. 
<laughs> Excuse me, how can I get to the hypermola cascadas? Where hypermola cascada is very far away, you can go you were or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to drive, but I need to the rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? For it, four blocks down the tree in front of the library. Thanks a lot. You are welcome. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Do we have another group? Alba, quiere probar? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Voy a iniciar yo. Voy a iniciar yo. I start. I start. Excuse me, how can I head to the beach? Well, the beach is very far away. You can go by bus or you can drive. Thank. Uh, I'm going to bus, but I need to bus station. Is there a bus station near here? Sure. In the block dot the street you can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Finish. Finish teacher. Excellent. Thank you guys. You did it pretty well. Okay guys remember um pronunciation bus Bus. 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 Bus station. Bus station. Bus station. Yeah. Buy taxi. Buy taxi. Buy car. Buy car. car. Buy food. Buy food. Buy bus. Buy bus. Buy bus. Mm -hmm. Sure. 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 Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. So now I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Please remember to say present or here. Alba Dino Ravides? Present. Alfredo Rodas? Present. Carla Sanchez? Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero. Cristina Roxana Romero. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, next is Domingo Alexander González. Present. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present. Jose, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jose Matias Lemos. Present teacher. Karina Espinosa Ventura. Present teacher. Marco Velázquez. Present teacher. Marlon Cardona. Present. Mauricio Mahano. Present. Maideli Díaz. Present, okay. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Víctor David. Present, okay. Walter Daniel González. Present. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. 
Bueno, esta noche le toca a Walter Daniel quedarse para la sesión. Ok. Ok, William, present. Excellent. Now, let's continue with the next part. Oh, let's practice, ok? And I will explain to you the, the use of go and the use of get. So please try to pay attention. Let me let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, you can see here the different uh, means of transportation. For example, train, car. Repeat after me, okay? Train. 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 Car. Car. Plane. 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 Ay, we didn't look for that one. It was here. Look, plane. Plane. <laughs> Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Subway. Subway. Truck. Truck. Subway. Helicopter. Helicopter. Taxi. Taxi. Bicycle. Bicycle. Ship. 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 Yes. Thank you. The use of go. The use of go. Okay. Use go by to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to point B. Example, you go by bus, you go by car, you go by plane, or you or you go by foot. You can go to the park by foot. You can go to your job by bus. You can go to the beach by car. You can go to United States by plane. Okay? So that is the way we use go by. It's not go be, it's go by. To be a specific, the specific transportation that you are using. Now you're going to write the name of three different places around your company, around your work. Maybe the supermarket, maybe a hospital, maybe a drugstore or pharmacy, maybe a gas station. So you write three places around the place of your work and take turns asking how can you get to those places. An example. I'm going to write here an example. There is a stadium near my place of work, a stadium. Okay? Means of transportation car. The question can I go to the stadium by car? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna do it, but with the places around your your place of work. Another place near my work is Metro Centro, the shopping mall. Means of transportation, I will say the bus. Question. Can I go or I can say where is the bus stop? What is the closest bus stop? La parada más cercana. What is the closest bus stop? X. X. In front of the gas station. Another place near my, 
near the place I work. Another place, let me think. Mm, I know. It's the bus station or the bus terminal. The bus terminal for those buses that go for, the go by, um, they go to, to another department, Santa Ana, Aguachapan, Sonsonate, mm -hmm. the Occidente Terminal. <laughs> so it is the bus terminal. The means of transportation to go there, to get there could be car, car, taxi, bus, or by foot. Question. Can I get there by foot? Yes, of course. So this is what you're going to do. Okay, three places, three means of transportation, and a question. Let me know when you are finished, please. Are you finished? Are you about to finish? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Teacher, we send it at uh, the chat or in notebook? But right now you are doing in the notebook and then I'm gonna um, send you in the rooms for you to practice with your partner. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think I'm, not, I'm going to start um, breaking the rooms. <laughs> to send you to the break rooms, okay? Okay. And you practice with your partner. The questions, you, 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 you share with your classmates the places around 
Mm -hmm. The places around your, your company or your place of work, the means of transportation and the questions that you wrote. Marlon, Alba is waiting for you. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, you are going to share with your uh huh. Salvador and Cristina is the only listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you can you can share with me, Marco. All right. I grab you in the chat or only speak. No, with me. Only speak. Okay. Yes, you can practice really speaking with me. All right. Uh, mm, the place is my work. Mm -hmm. The three places. Three places. My work. Uh huh. Near your work. Mm -hmm. My house. Your house. Uh, my house. Yes, and. Nice. And the mall, Santa Ana, Metro Center. Oh, the shopping mall. Shopping mall. Mm -hmm. um, the, the means of transportation. Yes. Uh, the bus. Okay. The question is, can I go to the bus at my work? Oh. Oh, how, how can I go to my work by bus? Can I go to? Can you repeat this? Because uh, can I go to the work in a bus? By bus. By bus. Yes, I can because is is very. It's yeah. close. Close. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can and the other is can I go to the mall? To the mall? Mm -hmm. Yes, because is just because is the the next more more biggest that I have. Es el como el mall más grande que tengo más cerca. Okay. And the other one, my house, my house. When I go, when I stay working at six 
PM. <laughs> I take a bus. Uh, I take a bus uh, to my house uh -huh. because I need to <laughs> to stay in my class. Oh yes, to get <laughs> to your class on time. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, some people are are looking for my help. <laughs> Teacher, have a question. Yes, tell me your question. Uh, ¿En qué momento se utiliza yet? ¿En qué momento se utiliza go? <risa> Vaya, miren, el go by es, se usa para decir cómo usted se va a ir, en qué, en qué se va a ir. Sí, by car, by bus, by taxi, etc. En uh -huh. get es como llegar. ¿Cómo llego allí? How do I get there? How can I get there? Mm, ok, ya pues aquí estoy mal. Pero también es posible usar el go. Puede... How can I go? Va que bien, es, bien, es bien confuso porque también se puede ocupar ahí mismo también, en la misma sí, oración. ¿verdad? también se puede. Uh -huh. Y también no puede es que decir... Se... También puede no decir... Es que sea de... No es que sea de pasado... El get. No, no. Va que no, los dos ¿verdad? son iguales. No, los dos son bastante. Ajá, iguales. vaya. Uh -huh. Son bastante versátiles. Vaya, y en la respuesta, teacher, tendría que ser yes, I can, o yes, you can. Digamos, en la pregunta, yo, el lugar es Lake eh, by Motorcycle. Y el answer es, is, can I go there by motorcycle? Motorcycle. Eh, motorcycle. Yes, yes I can. Uh -huh. Yes, I can, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Eh, y, y la otra que yo hice es the park. Uh, by foot can I get there by foot can I get there by foot yes you can mm -hmm. yes of course yes of course yes <laughs> yes of course ¿Qué es? sí por supuesto of course por supuesto mm, ok mm -hmm. y obvio y si yes I can yo puedo ¿verdad? Uh -huh. yes yes I can si sí, usted puede Okay. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántas vamos a hacer, teacher? De tres, three. Only three. Yo solo dos. Two, two or three, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Ya, ya, ya me, ya me iluminó. Sí, que yo tenía esa duda, fíjate, porque yo en la plataforma vi que no la quise hacer porque decía get y decía go uh -huh. y yo sé que get es el pasado de go pero no, no, en no. La hora, eh, eh. no el pasado o el pasado de get es got y el pasado de go is went ah o sea que esos son dos verbos en, en, diferentes, en diferentes. ¿Sí? yo pensé que era el mismo verbo no dicho. no Matías son diferentes ¿Qué significa get, teacher? Es lo que le decía. El get se puede utilizar para muchas cosas, pero ese, en este contexto lo estamos usando para llegar allí. ¿Cómo llego allí? How do I get there? ¿Y Así. el go? ¿Cómo para iré? Ir, para ir. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo iré me voy? ahí? ¿Cómo bien? me voy? ¿En qué me voy? ¿Cómo me voy? Así es. Uh -huh. Ajá. Aunque, aunque se, también sería lo. <ríe> Al revisar eso utilizar, siempre queda igual, después, ¿verdad? Ahorita se los explico. Creo que ya, ya, ya hubo tiempo suficiente para compartir. <ríe> sí. <ríe> ok.
Okay, I hope, I know we're still waiting for more. Okay, so I guess everybody is now here. Now, I'm going to explain, guys, because I know you have some questions about the use of the go and get. Okay, so look at the look at these expressions. It said, how can I get to the trade center? I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. So use get to ask for directions and also to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. What is the correct option? Arrival. Exactly, arrival. So we use get to ask para preguntar cómo llegar a un lugar o para enfatizar la idea de, de llegar a un lugar. Por ejemplo, miren. ¿Cómo llego al Trade Center? Voy a rentar un carro, no más llego, no más llego a Panamá. Usualmente llego a la oficina a 6.30 a.m. No sé si ahí captamos la idea. No, teacher, voy a estar muy claro todavía. Ahora vamos a ver el go. How do you go to work? I'm going to go to the conference center after I check in. I go home around 7 p.m. Use go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion from A to B or arrival. What is the, the correct? Motion from, from A to B. <laughs> Motion, motion from A to B, the idea of motion. moving, moving from one place to another. Example, how do you go to work? From your house to your work, how, to your work. How do you go to work? Oh, I go to work, I go to work by bus, or I go to work by foot, or I go to work by car. I'm going to go, voy a ir, ¿verdad? voy a ir a la, desde aquí a la conference center after I check in or from the airport to the conference center. I go home around 7, 7 p.m. Me voy a la casa, me voy a around, I go home around 7 p.m. Entonces, el get es para preguntar cómo llego y para enfatizar cuando yo llego a un lugar. Y el go es para decir cómo me voy, cómo me, me transporto, cómo me traslado. From one place or from one point to another. Teacher, esto viene siendo como, como llegar a un lugar que uno no conoce, ¿verdad, teacher? El get. El get, exactamente, exactly. And go is how you, how you move. How you move from one place to another. Let's let's practice with the sentences, with the examples that we have over here. Complete the statements with um, get or with go. Sometimes, like como dice Kimi, sometimes both options are possible, but sometimes. Check your answers with another pair. Pero vamos a hacer aquí todos juntos. Number one. We're going to buy a charger when we get to the airport. Aquí no podría ser el go. Porque vamos a comprar un cargador cuando lleguemos. La idea es arrive. When we get or when we arrive to the airport. Les voy a dar una clave. Si ustedes, para saber si van a usar get or go, si pueden reemplazar la palabra por el verbo arrive, 
que es llegar, entonces is get. Ok. Alex, Sophie, how do you? ¿Qué sería acá? Go. Exacto. Go, go. How do you go? How do you? How do you? Uh -huh. How do you move right from one place to another? How do you go to work? I go by car. The trainer is going to to the production plan get, after the meeting. Get. Go to. Go. It can be go or it can be get. Okay. In going this, to go. Mm -hmm. The trainer is going to go to the production plan after the meeting. Va a ir a la, a la planta de producción después de la after the meeting, después de la reunión. Or, or even get, it's possible. The trainer is going to get to the production plan after the meeting. But it's more like go. go. Excuse me, how can I? Get, 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 get. How can I get? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo llego? How can I get to the to the back stage? This? Number five. The bank is really near. You can go. I get. You can go by foot. You can go by foot. Puede irse caminando a pie. Number six. I'm going to call you when I get. Get. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pueden, yeah, pueden. You can do it. <laughs> when I get to the hotel. Excellent. Muy bien. Muy bien, ahora, number seven, activity number seven, your turn per work. A student A, you are driving and you are using your GPS system. You work at the GPS, student B, you work at the GPS company and you are giving directions to your classmate. Use the conversation below as a reference. Thank you for using road start or thank you for using Google Maps, <laughs> or thank you for using Waze. How can I help you? I need directions for that. <gasps> Five Star Hotel, how can I get there? Sure, please. The hotel is here. Uh -huh. The hotel is here. Please turn left, continue 20 kilometers. The speed limit is okay. You give more, you 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 give more information. Okay, so um, you are going to write a conversation with your partner about how to get to a place. Here we have, for example, the gas station. We have a restaurant. We have a school. We have this is I think this is a bank. I'm not. I cannot see that well. Yes, bank. It's a bank, okay? And if you want, you can include other places. For example, uh, we can write here a school. We can draw a school, right? The school. A language school. Regal International. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm not good at drawing. Schooling, here we can have like a pharmacy or something or supermarket, I mean, or hospital, okay? So you're gonna work with your partner about it. Y van a ser, ahí. This is going to be the conversation. Thank you for using the GPS system, our GPS system. How can I help you? I need directions for the supermarket, uh, the nearest, the más cercano, the nearest supermarket. How can I get there? Sure, please uh -huh. continue, uh, go straight, turn, uh, turn right, 
or go go straight ahead take the first street take the second street etc no sé si captamos ahí lo que vamos a hacer so, so. aquí aquí está la conversación this is the conversation you it's very short Pero sí necesito que se pregunten cómo llegar a un lugar y luego usted le va a You are driving and you are using a GPS system. Mm. Pero los lugares puede ser cualquiera de esos que están ahí. Pero, sí, incluso puede agregar otros. So we have the restaurant, gas station, bank. Hotel, bueno, la hotel, ya no. But um, you can even draw more places and use them as reference. Okay. Raw, raw star is. Uh, it's the name of the hotel or the name of, no, the name of the GPS system. Ah, system. Yeah. Uno de ustedes, but it's going to be driving. And the other person is going to be the person on the, at the GPS. Un, mm -hmm. Uno es el Uber. <laughs> the other is the cell phone speaking. The application, the app. Google map. Exactly. Teacher, yo no le entendí el ejemplo. Su compañero le va a ayudar, ya va a ver. Ojalá, ojalá. Y le decía a él mismo, lo mismo. Yo no entendí. No, hombre, no he entendido. <risa> Vamos a ver. Solo sé que la voy a hacer de Uber. Es mi querida.
Okay. Okay, uh, I would like that um, you, I mean, one person from your group can write the, the conversation in the chat. I will be reading you. In the chat, we write, teacher. Yes, please, Marco. All right. Yes, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to to write. I mean, to, for all of you to write the conversation in the chat. Okay. I can hear you typing, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> no problem.
falta, teacher. Lo que pasa es que confundo enter para la línea y es para enviar. Ok. Sorry. <laughs> ok. Me tengo que ir acortado. Thank you for using GPS system. How can I help you? I need directions for the school. How can I get to the school? Or how can I get there? Go ahead, turn right in 20 kilometers in front of the bank. Your destination is in front of the bank. Okay, what about the other groups? Thank you for using Road Star. How can I help you? I need directions for the gas station. How can I get there? Sure, please straight uh, go straight ahead, three streets. Cross, ahí sería turn to the right, one kilometer. Okay, Karina and Matias. Straight tiene que ir acompañado del verbo go. Go straight ahead. En vez de cross sería turn. Turn to the right. I need direction for the restaurant, the old, the old house. How can I, how can I get there? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Bueno, solo dos me han mandado la conversation. Two, three, three, three students. Oh, thank you, four. Allá van cuatro, four groups. Thank you for using Google Maps. How can I help you? I need directions for the bank. How can I get there? Sure, please continue for this way and turn right in the first street. And on the corner, turn right again. Fatima, thank you for using GPS system. I, how can I help you? I need directions for the restaurant. How can I get there? Sure, please go straight and turn to the right in one kilometer. It's in front of the supermarket. Okay, Domingo, Walter, and Fatima. Excellent job. Okay, guys, it's 9.52. So um, I'm, we are going to work in the wrap-up. I have a worksheet to work on to consolidate your learning. Oh, we have another one. Carla Maritza, thank you for using Road Star. How can I help you? I need directions for the school. How can I get there? Go straight ahead, then turn left. Go two blocks straight ahead, then turn right. At the end of the street, it is your destination. Very good. Do we still have another one? No? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so we have here an exercise asking for and giving direction. It's listening. Uh, so asking for and giving directions activity. You have to read and listen to the dialogue and complete the conversation. Oh, we have another one. Sure, please turn right, continue 20 blocks, turn left 10 meters between the the bank, Scotia Bank, and the mall, La Joyita. <laughs> okay. Thank you for using Road Star. How can I help you? I need directions for the restaurant. How can I gather? Shoo, please go ahead. Mm, one on the street. Thanks. Thank you for using Waze. How can I help you? I need directions for the Pampa restaurant. How can I get there? Sure, please continue for two miles and turn right and down three streets. And go down, go down, go down three streets and turn left. Go straight at the end, Saria. At the end of the street, 
and that is your destiny. You will find your destiny or you will get to your destination. Thank you guys, good job. Okay, listen to the dialogue and then help me to complete the conversation. Oh, the only thing is that I'm not sure if you are going to listen. Let me check. Déjenme ver esto, chicos. Ahora sí. In my screen. Okay, listen to the conversation. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bank? Yes, sure. Turn left at the end of this street. At the traffic lights? Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. And at the roundabout? Turn right at the roundabout into D Road. Okay, right at the roundabout. Go down D Road, the bank's on the left. Thank you. Goodbye. Could you listen? Yes, but I only copy one word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I will show you the options blank, bank, ban, or ban. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to that? Bank. 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 Yes, sure. Left, go left, turn left, or you turn. Go left. Turn left. Turn left. Let's listen. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the bank? Yes, sure. Turn left at the end of this street. At the traffic lights? Yes. Then go as far as the roundabout. And at the roundabout? Turn roundabout. right at the roundabout into D Road. Okay, right at the roundabout. Go down D Road, D the bank's on the left. D Road. Thank you. Goodbye. D Road. The blanks on the left, the blank on the left, banks on the left, or banks Back. on the left? Banks on the left. Banks on the left. Uh, the bank yeah. is, it's a contraction. Bank is, banks yes. on the left. Thank you. Okay. Activity number two. Choose the answer of the following statement. Excuse, excuse me, where can I find a supermarket or where can I go to the supermarket? Where can I find? Find a supermarket. Exactly. Where can I find a supermarket? Okay, number seven. Excuse me. Could you say me or could you tell me where the town museum is? Please. Could you tell me? Tell could me. You tell me. Esa es el que usamos correctamente. Could you tell, could me, tell me where the town museum is? Please. Number A, excuse me, I look or I'm looking for the swimming pool. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking for the swimming pool. Okay. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Is there a bank right here? Near here. Near yeah. here. Near here. Okay. Excuse me, where's the post? What is the nearer or nearest post office, please? Nearest. 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 La más nearest. cercana. Where is the nearest post office, please? Very nice. Look at the map and read. Then write T if the statement is true and F if it's false. The library is opposite the school. Pero no sé si la ven. now? What is the yes. school? Um, the school is here. The school. the school is here and the library is here. Uh, the no. library is false. It's false. It's false. It's false. Central Park is on the station road. Aquí dice main road, station road, and west street. Central oh, Park true. is on the station road. True, true. Folks. True. 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 Main road, 
West Street Station Road. False. False. It's False. False. It's on Main Road, but not in the Station Road. The Bosch oh. butcher shop, la carnicería, the butcher shop is behind the baker shop. Butcher and baker. False. It's not behind. Next, it's next. It's behind. next to the baker shop. The fruit <laughs> shop is between the school and the deli shop. Fruit shop is here. Fruit shop is true. between the school true. and the deli shop. True. 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 Okay, if you go to the florist, you go a straight florist. Where is the florist? The, fl ah, the florist is here, right here. Mm -hmm. If you go to the florist, you go a straight on Main Road. Oh. Main Road. You start oh. here. Oh. Main Road. Oh. Then turn right okay. on West Street. West and Street. turn right it's a false on the station road. It's, left. it's a false it's next to the okay. bank. Yeah, because you don't turn right, you turn, turn left. Left. Okay, false. now listen to the directions, drag and drop each item to a proper location. Pero no sé si lo van a lograr ver. Oh, but the time, maybe only one. Listen. <laughs> Go along Long Vista Street. Turn right on the second turning. The hostel is on the left. Le oh, but I think you cannot see. TC um, Long Long Street Long Longest Street Back Street um, Park Park. Um, oh, I can see it. The Honey Street. Teacher. Yep. 10, 10 p.m. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe you can finish this um, by your own, okay? Thank you. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the, the attendance for the last time. But... I can see, guys, that you that you could use get and go correctly. So go ahead. And finish that. Uh, before I take the last attendance, I just want to remind you that tomorrow is the last video conference. So it's mandatory. It's an obligation that every student is connected to. Why? Because it, uh, you have to fill out the survey which is a requirement from INSAFOR to continue your scholarship. Entonces, tienen que conectarse todos mañana, ¿verdad? Vamos a okay, hacer aquí okay. en clase la, la en última encuesta, que es un requisito de INSAFOR que INSAFOR pide. Continúen o no continúen, tienen que llenarla. La vamos a llenar todos juntos. Ya todos recibieron el enlace, ¿verdad? Tanto en sus correos como en el WhatsApp. Y necesito que, que, que estemos todos. Lo vamos a hacer a las 9 y 25. A esa hora, sí. Tor Sánchez nos va a estar ap apoyando, ¿verdad? De inglés corporativo para que la llenemos todos juntos. Así es que los espero mañana. Que sin falta. Okay, ahora sí. Ahora sí les... Person or here. Teacher. Dígame. Este, a mí solamente en el WhatsApp me, me cayó en un privado el, el, el enlace y sí. tal vez lo sí, necesitaría sí, en, sí, en, el, sí. en el me too me too ah bueno sí. pero lo tienen en el whatsapp sí pero uh -huh. para por cuestión sí, de copy sí. en el whatsapp puesta un poquitín eh, sobre la información que se traslada verdad para llenar lo que es la encuesta en uh -huh. cambio es un poquito más fácil ah bueno para eh... que lo manden al correo si fuese posible Ok, el correo es el... Bueno, yo tengo sus correos. Voy a intentar sí, enviárselos mañana a todos. De acuerdo. Ok, uh -huh. okay ahí por al mediodía, porque a esa hora tengo un poquito de tiempo. In the lunch time. Ok. okay. 
Es posible que lo tenga también el correo no deseado, que revise el correo no deseado. Yo, ajá, yo lo recibí en el correo, es probable que ustedes lo tengan. Ajá, revisen tal vez ahí en spam o anuncios, no sé, algo así. No bueno, recuerdo cómo que se llama. Esa, acabo esa. de escuchar gallitos cantando. Ya, ya es la 12 de la noche. <risa> Just kidding, ok. Alba Dinora. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Carla Maritza. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Romero. <ríe> Qué feo respondió Cristina. <ríe> Domingo González. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. José Matías. Present. Matías. Karina Espinosa. Present. Marco David. Present. Son tremendos. Marlos Cardona. Ah, Marlon estaba ahí tratando de entrar y, y se tuvo problemas de internet. Mauricio. Present. Maideli. Quizás ya se desconectó. Maideli o está ahí present. Vamos a ver. Tu chat. Eh, Cristina dice present. Y escribió malo a saber a quién dijo. Matías fue el de eso. Cristina, oiga, no fui yo. Uh, Nancy. Present teacher. Rocío, Maritza. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Lo logró, Sandra. Lo logró. <ríe> Víctor Salazar. Walter Daniel González. Present. Y William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Víctor. Ahí está Víctor. Present. Ok. Ok, guys. Walter Daniel, are you going to stay with me? Yes, teacher. Ok. Goodbye, people. Have a, a good night. Sweet, sweet dreams. Dream with your partner. Dream with the English class. All right. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay, Walter. I'm sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> the, the neighbor's dog, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay, Walter Daniel. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's um, nice. Teacher, tengo más, más, más preguntas que, ¿cómo se dice? Tengo más dudas. Más que todo, porque me, me cuesta bastante. Mm, um, porque creo que quizás el, 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 el último mes de este, ¿cómo se llama? De las clases de este mes, Ajá. casi todo me quedó como una duda. Entonces, no sé cómo, cómo voy a hacer en, en esto, ¿verdad? Pero porque como creo que no, yo lo recibí como... ¿Cómo se dice esto? Que hay cosas que como que yo no las entiendo o no sé, no alcanzo a captar cuando a veces nos, dice la, nos da la clase, ¿verdad? Pero, mmm, sí, el otro, el, otro, el, otro, el otro mes así creo que no voy a seguir porque no, creo que me quedo más que todo duda, ¿verdad? Entonces... Porque lo último sí, ¿verdad? Porque estaba como, era como una continuidad de las últimas clases que habíamos recibido de la, del último mes, ¿verdad? Que habíamos tenido el, el básico 2, pero sí que era, así era. Mm, eso sí, más o menos lo entendí, pero lo del inicio, algo que, algo que me cuesta bastante. Por ejemplo, cuando había que preguntar o cómo responder, o al parecer creo que es más que todo que 
no me pongo mucho verbo y a veces no entiendo algo que preguntan. Ese es uno de los problemas. Entonces, <risa> la verdad es que no, no, no sabía qué preguntar esta, en, este, en estos 10 minutos. Tengo más dudas. <risa> Tiene muchas, que no van muchas. a alcanzar 10 minutos. <risa> Tengo muchas dudas. <risa> a ver, por ejemplo, no sé, eh, porque creo que hay que ser un poco específico, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, vaya, y si yo le hago algunas preguntas o se las escribo y usted me dice, me trata de responder. Ok. Vamos a ver. Le voy a hacer así en el en the simple present. What do you usually do on weekends? No sé si se responde, creo que sí, en esa parte. Uh -huh. Ok, sería, I usually spend. Spend es pasar tiempo. I usually spend oh. time with my family. Uh -huh. Spend time uh -huh. with my family. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. I usually spend time with my family. That's a, that's a new word for you now. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? ¿Qué más hace? What else do you do? Eh, no sé, no, no capto qué es else cuando lo pregunto ahí. Else significa más. ¿Qué más haces tú? What else do you do? ¿Qué hago más yo? Ah. Se me olvidó cómo se cómo se escribe, cómo se dice. Eh, I sometimes work. Um, uh, a veces trabajo, pero yeah. a veces descan descanso. But pero, I eh, sometimes rest. Rest, es cierto. Rest. Um, I, I sometimes yeah. rest. Sobre las preguntas, le voy a poner aquí, eso creo que lo vieron con otros teachers, pero bye. usualmente usamos el do, luego usamos el subject, and then the verb, plus complement. Así hacemos las preguntas. Vale, le voy a poner un ejemplo. Do you practice... English every day. Mm 
Answer. Do you practice English every day, Walter? Okay. Mm, más o menos es así, ¿verdad? Eh, no. Lo... No, I don't. No, I don't. Sí. Uh -huh. Or no, I don't. yes, I do. Mm. Contesta así con. Con el que empezó, mire, con el do. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ahora usted escríbame una pregunta usando esa estructura. Cualquier cosa que se le ocurra preguntar. Do you do you teach English on weekends? On weekends. No, I don't. I only teach. From Monday to Friday. Yeah, but you sí. can make the structure very good. Y ahora en el pasado. En el pasado. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Uh, tú, creo que era tú. Did. Ah, did. Sí. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eh, sí, sí, sí. I have a question. Did your friend, eh, did your friend call you today? I swear, no, no, di, no, no, didn't. Algo así, pero es que era. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Or yes, no. he. Uh -huh. mm. Ahora escribamos usted un ejemplo. No sé si se puede decir así, did you eat um, the dinner? Creo que sí es. Did you have dinner? Ajá. ¿O qué comió? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cómo quiere? Ah, de que, que comió la cena. Vaya. Did, did you have dinner? Es, ¿Cenó? 
de no cenarles. Ajá. Ajá. Yo le respondo y es ahí. Si quiere preguntar qué cenaste, entonces usamos una question word. What did you have for dinner? O what did you eat? Ya usamos una question word. Una question word, sí. Ajá. What did you eat? Oh, I had beans, eggs, tamales, cheese. I had beans, eggs, a tomato, and cheese in a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Vaya, por lo menos ya vimos eso. ¿Qué le parece si hace más ejemplos? Hace unas cinco questions de present and cinco questions in the past. Para que practique. Okay. Y esas como se las mando. Se las envío al chat. Se las mando el WhatsApp, está bien. Bueno, yo se las mando. Al directo. Okay, rest. You need to rest. Ok. Good night. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Bye. Bye.